this is the fun day. So it is pickup day. I'm picking up two pigs and I'm a car full of coolers and I have two more on the way back. Um, so our pickup, so our processor is about an hour and 40 minutes away from us. And that's kind of far, but I think it's kind of typical. A lot of people have to travel far to their processors. I wish I was closer. That would be nice. But uh, we do have ones that are closer. But um, we really like our processor. We use Piedmont Custom Meat. And Gibsonville is drop off. And pick up is in Asheboro. Or you can pick up in Gibsonville as well. But I started picking up in Asheboro. It's about 10 minutes closer. So I have an hour and a half drive today. So it's an hour and 37 minutes. Um, for pickup in an hour and is it 50? I don't know. It's like an hour and 50 minutes or hour and 45 minutes for drop off. But so this is a fun day. I'm going to show you um, kind of the process. So it starts out with a long drive. After loading coolers in your car, you have a long drive. <laughs> and then um, I'll show you the place when we get there. I like their Ashboro office uh, a little bit better pickup because you're on well I guess it depends you're on ground level and I like that in Gibsonville they are um, they wheel out the meat to you on these trays and it's kind of up on a platform like a loading dock some people might like that better I don't know I like um, pick up the ash for a little bit better so I'll show you what it looks like when I get there so this is where you back up and they bring your meat out to you. So this is what the crates look like. They roll these carts out and all your meat are in these crates for you to unload. All right, got it all loaded. So I took some pictures of what the crates look like. Um, number one tip when picking up in the winter is to bring gloves because you're handling frozen meats. It's very cold and it's cold outside. So make sure you bring gloves when you're picking up your frozen meats. But I even got some boxes. And so they will box it up for you. And if I lived closer, I would um, maybe do that. You have to pay for the boxes. They're like over $3 per box. But they said they ran out of um, their crates. So they gave me some boxes, which is great because I have someone, um, that bought half a hog so I can box up theirs for them um, but yeah it, I'm a little out of breath <laughs> every cooler is full I brought just enough and you never know um, I always hope I always hope I have more than enough excuse me I gotta sneeze I feel like maybe not um, I always try to have you know at least an extra cooler but my kids were in the car <laughs> you should have seen me taking my kids to my mom's dropping them off before coming here um they barely squeeze in the car with all the coolers and so i had one more cooler i got, could have brought but uh, i couldn't because my kids were in the car <laughs> it was like it was the kids over the cooler so you know farming dilemmas <laughs> oh so yeah all packed up so now all these coolers so i have two giant coolers and three of the smaller igloo coolers um, so now when i get home i have to take these coolers inside to the freezers and unload them from the cooler into the freezer and take inventory while i do <laughs> so it's it's a half day's work when when you pick it up but everything looks great i'm really excited uh, i did make a couple mistakes on the cut sheets and I swear one of these days I'll get it right so I was a little upset about that but um, everything looks wonderful so I'm really excited to get it home and I have two new products so I'm really excited about that we have maple breakfast sausage links and ground Italian sausage so those will be two new um, items that will be going on the website ASAP so that is uh, pickup day and what it entails and maybe I'll um, show some of the unloading when I get home but I'll probably be too tired after all this unloading <laughs> so 
Now it is the unloading into the freezers part and I'm out of breath, got my hair pulled back and trying to get this done. So from the coolers into the freezer, which is already full. <laughs> so I've gotten the new mild Italian sausage in there. So that's new. And these are new, our first time carrying maple breakfast mates. So super excited about those. Um, so I already have one freezer full. My other two freezers are half full. So this is the process, just unloading and getting it in the freezer as neatly as possible, keeping things kind of separate. Um, and it just takes time. And I'm also keeping like my ground pork is over here in a separate pile so I can take inventory of that because I don't know how much I have of that yet. So I got to write down everything. My other sausage, I know I have like 50 pounds of this. I have, um, well, actually minus what the half hog sold because we're sharing with somebody that bought half a hog. So actually I do not have 50 pounds of that, but I have a lot of it <laughs> still. So this is just the process, trying to get it out of the coolers and into the freezers as neatly as possible to save as much room. But I think I need a new freezer. So all of that was yesterday and that was a long day. I left about one o'clock and we were done about 6.30 PM. Um, of course that doesn't include loading the car before leaving with the coolers. So. It was a long afternoon, but we got it. We were managed to get um, everything unloaded and got the half hog delivered to our customer. And um, our freezers are full. So I definitely need a new freezer. That's going to have, we're going to have to look at that uh, budget for that this year. Um, so we'll see. Thankfully, the farm is paying for itself. I don't get paid. <laughs> so all those hours uh, yesterday. I didn't get paid for doing any of that. That's just um, what I gotta do for the farm. Um, all the farm money goes towards you know, the processing fees, which are several hundred dollars. Just for these two pigs, it was uh, over $900 just to process two pigs. So, um, you know, fee costs, and we learned that processing fee, uh, our processor's going up on their fee this year. Feed costs, um, have are all have been high for a long time. I'm actually looking at uh, changing our layer feed to a higher quality feed, which is uh, more expensive. Uh, just you know, to because we want the best for our animals, we want them to be healthy, and to be able to con uh, continue producing for us. So they have to be fed well, and we also need lots of new fencing this year. So all the purchases, every time you guys purchase from us, all that just goes back into the farm. Um, for feed and processing and fencing and everything the farm requires. We're hoping to grow our production. I'm looking at doubling production this year, um, but that also means twice as many pigs on the farm, which means I need more fencing <laughs> and twice as much feed. Um, and thankfully we're able to buy feed in bulk. Um, but then we need more storage for the feed too. So I have to buy um, storage for the feed it just, it's never ending. <laughs> it just continues. Um, there's always projects and things that need uh, to be bought on the farm or things that need to be done uh, for the animals. But uh, it's very rewarding. Uh, I'm very grateful to have this um, for my family and I'm able to feed you know my family high quality uh, pork and eggs and we're able to, sh to share with our community. So that, you know, able uh, for you guys to purchase local feed or meat and eggs from us. Um, and that, I love it. I love doing my deliveries every Friday and being able to see some of you guys and, and say hi and, or message on Facebook, that kind of stuff. So I love my customers. You guys are amazing. I love everyone that supports us and our small farm venture and hopefully uh, we're able to grow it. So our goal is uh, to grow the farm um, to as much as I can handle. <laughs> so we'll see. We're growing slowly because we do it debt-free. 
we don't take out any loans or anything for our farm. We just do it as cash is available. So, you know, our first year we start out with two pigs. Last year we did 10 and this year we're looking to do 20 and then the next year 30. And the ultimate five-year goal I have is 50 pigs a year. I think if we um, could reach 50, I think that would be a good number for us. But yeah, it's going to require a lot more fencing on our land. So that's going to be a big task. So that's why I want to kind of grow it slowly so it's not too much for me all at once. <laughs> but um, so yeah, so that is the process of picking up our pork from the processor. Um, I really love our processor. They even have an open house this Saturday and I would love to attend, but they are like very far drive and I've already gone two weeks in a row um, because our bacon won't be ready from these two pigs for another uh, five weeks probably. It's five to six week turnaround for bacon. So I have to go back for the bacon, <laughs> but it's worth it because the bacon is amazing. Oh, and I tried the maple breakfast links this morning for breakfast. Oh my gosh. The whole house smelled amazing while I was cooking it. It smelled so good. You could really smell the maple in it and they taste amazing. And they're really quick uh, to cook up. So that was really, really quick hot breakfast this morning. It was really nice. So I really like those. I highly recommend them. So you can go on our website and purchase them if you're local. So I do um, free delivery in the downtown Newton area every Friday around here. And the Conover Farmer's Market starts back May 4th. So super excited for that because I love seeing you guys at the market. It's so much fun. Um, I'm really looking forward to when that starts back. I'm ready now. That starts May 4th. But in the meantime, we will be there uh, once a month for pickup at the same location in that same parking lot. And the next one is February 10th. So you can pick up from us there. And every Wednesday, I have pickup available in Denver. And you can always come and pick up at the farm. So order online, you can call me um, or message me on Facebook, email me and uh, set up an appointment to come pick it up on the farm. And then you can see the animals while you're here too, if you want. Of course, it's really cold. It's 17 degrees this morning. I tell you, it's rough. This Florida native girl, I've grown up in the Carolinas, but I still have the Florida blood and I hate farming in the winter. <laughs> so ready for spring. And I'm ready for green grass because the grass not growing and the mud is, I'm just done with it. I'm done with it. It's crazy. So I'm definitely ready for some warm spring weather. Um, that'll be great. And everything will be much prettier then too. And everyone will be happier when there's fresh grass growing. But that's the nature of the game. That's how farming is. So that's what we do. Survive the winter. Look forward to spring. But, um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. Um, thanks again. And I hope you enjoyed seeing, uh, one of the things we got to do here on the farm. All right. Take care.